Kramer's rule. If AX equal to B is a system with N unknowns such that the determinant of A is not equal to zero, then the system is said to have the unique solution, namely X sub 1 is equal to the determinant of A sub 1 divided by the determinant of A. X sub 2 is equal to the determinant of A sub 2 divided by the determinant of, of A, and so on, such that until we get to X sub N, which is the determinant of A sub N divided by the determinant of A. Now, in the numerators, those, those A sub 1s, A sub 2, A sub Ns, just say A sub J, is the matrix that is determined by replacing the Jth column of the matrix A with the entries over uh, in B. B is that N by 1 matrix. This guy here. Remember, we said that we can denote the determinant by this uh, symbol. So we can rewrite Kramer's rule in that regard. So x of 1, just using the, the symbol here for determinant. Um, so what Kramer's rule simply says is that you can find the, uh, uh, the solution uh, without uh, using row reduced echelon form. You can find the solution by using the determinants. So previously, uh, you were able to take the adjoint of the matrix and to use that adjoint theorem to find the inverse without um, uh, using uh, row reduction uh, on the matrix. So another neat application of the determinant. So let's look at this first um, example. Here the determinant of A would be the term 7, 3, negative 2, and 1. We'll just get 13. Now A sub 1, I'm going to replace 7 and 3 with 3 and 5. So A sub 1 is 3, 5, and then um, we bring over the negative 2 and the 1. Here we get 13 for that determinant. A sub 2, uh, rewrite the first column, 7, 3, replace the second column with 3, 5. There it is there, so we get 26. And so Kramer's rule says once you have all these determinants, then you can easily get the, the answer. X of 1 is uh, the determinant of A sub 1 divided by the, the determinant of A, so we just get 1. And then X sub 2 is the determinant of A sub 2 divided by the determinant of A, and that just gives us 2. There we get the unique solution. Now, if it's a 3 by 3, no problem. We still can apply Kramer's rule. <coughs> so, so here, the determinant of A is going to be that 4, 11, 1, 5, 1, 5, 0, 2, and 2. Now you work that out, and I did already, so we got the negative 132. Now you want to find A sub 1, the determinant of A sub 1. So here, we replace the first column with 2, 3, 1. Rewrite the second and third columns. Now that gives you negative 36. The determinant for A sub 2 replace the second column with 2, 3, 1 
and that will give you negative 24. Then the last one, the determinant for a sub 3, and then we replace this third column with 2, 3, 1. And we get 12. Now from there we just just use Kramer's rule directly. And so you have x sub 1 is equal to the, the determinant for a sub 1 all over the determinant of a. negative 36 all over negative 132 x sub 2 is the determinant of a sub 2 all over the determinant of a so it's negative 24 divided by negative 132 and then x sub 3 the determinant of a sub 3 all over the determinant of a and that was the 12 all over negative 132 Well, that's, that's all she wrote there. And you reduce those numbers, and, and that's what you get. So, um, I mean, that's basically all to it when it comes to Kramer's rule. Again, I can work, uh, you know, two or three problems, but we're just doing the same old, same old. So you should be good to go uh, with that. If you have any questions, just reach out to me, okay? Thank you.